Today I'm going to show you how to create an awesome bokeh style effect on your photos in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. I'm the founder of Flurn, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And today I'm going to show you a really great technique you can use to add bokeh to your photos in Photoshop. So you can do this in camera or you can do this in Photoshop. So let's talk about doing this in camera. So basically what you're going to need to do this in camera is a camera that's going to take interchangeable lenses. The real key here is you want to shoot with a lens like a 50 millimeter 1.4 or an 85 millimeter 1.4. And those aren't too expensive. You can throw that on a mirrorless camera or even an entry level digital SLR. The real thing you're trying to get here is a very shallow depth of field. Basically, anytime you've seen like your subject is in focus and your background is super out of focus, that's a shallow depth of field. So when you have a shallow depth of field and you put a bunch of lights either in your background or really close to the lens, those lights go out of focus and they create those beautiful bubbles of light called bokeh. So this effect looks really cool and it's really easy to do in camera. Now, if you don't have the options to go take your own pictures, not a big deal. You can do the same thing in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, you can simply take an existing photo of bokeh lights and then add it to your own photo. It's really easy to do. Basically, you change the blending mode from normal to screen, which is going to make the blacks invisible, making just the bokeh lights there and place it over top of your image. You can even change the colors. Make sure you use a hue saturation adjustment layer, convert it to a smart object, change those colors and you're good to go. So in this episode, we're going to show you two different examples of basically doing exactly that. We're going to show you how to create all kinds of different bokeh effects and you can download these images on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. All right, guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's jump into Photoshop. Go, oh, is it Photoshop time? <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and pull this thing together in Photoshop. So we actually got a couple examples for you today. We're going to be doing both of these images. Now, all these images you can actually download on flurn.com. Just follow the link on your screen right now. You can follow along with this. This is super easy. So you'll be able to get all three of these images. So the first thing that we've got, we have a bokeh photo. Now you can search through stock image websites, just type in bokeh and you're gonna find photos like this, or you can simply take your own. You just need to shoot with a shallow depth of field and basically just shoot lights out of focus. That's how to get this look. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my move tool and I'm gonna hold shift and click and drag from one image to another one. There we go. And now we have our bokeh on a new layer. Now the real key to doing this, and this is so incredibly easy, the real key here is to use your blending modes in Photoshop. Now in this case, our background is really dark. It's pretty much black. So we wanna get rid of that and just have the lights showing. So we're gonna change our blending mode to screen. It's gonna remove the background and just have the lights showing. So let's go up here from normal. We're gonna go down to screen. Boom, and you can see we have bokeh in our image, which is incredibly cool. Now you can move it around here. You can see in this case, the bokeh is a little bit larger uh, than, than our image. Let's go ahead and move in there. So of course, if you want to, you can simply hit Control or Command T at any time, and you can shrink this down. You can make it larger and smaller. Now in this case, for this exact example, what I wanna do, uh, just cause I'm in, the, I'm in the mood for bokeh, uh, what I wanna do is add a few different versions of this. So we have our new layer here. We're gonna click and drag this down to the new layer icon. It's gonna duplicate that. And then you can see here, she's got like a necklace with these little fairy lights on there. We're gonna kind of play up that bokeh as well. So let's hit, hit Control or Command T. We're gonna shrink this down nice and small there. Okay, and then we're just gonna add more bokeh right around her uh, like fairy lights where she's got these uh, kind of like lights right around her, uh, her neck there. Now I'll make it a little bit larger so it kind of matches up with, uh, with the lights. All right, there we go. And let's hit Enter. Now, if you're in a situation like this, obviously we need to use a layer mask to make sure that these edges don't show up like that. So let's click on our layer mask icon. You just wanna paint black with your brush tool where you don't want this to show up. So let's just go ahead and paint black. Now the key when you're doing this here, okay, you don't want this bokeh to look half visible, half invisible. Like you wouldn't, for instance, want to like paint it away like that, okay? That's not gonna look realistic. So you wanna make sure it's either there or not there. Okay, so what we're doing is I'm just gonna kind of paint away the background just a little bit, kind of light here. Yeah, we'll paint away those. That doesn't make a lot of sense to have those guys there. And I wanna be sure that everywhere I have my bokeh, it is fully visible, fully intact. So it's either gonna be not visible or visible. And you can use a hard edge brush uh, if you wanna do that. 
there we go. And let's just go in here and we're just gonna make this a little bit more visible here. All right, there we go. And we'll just paint that, paint that gone. So we can see we got our effect pretty much looking good here. The only thing is this is like a little bit lighter right here than I would like. I'm just gonna kind of add, I'm gonna play that up in this case, just a little bit. Let's create a new layer and I'm gonna grab this like lighter blue color and we're just gonna use a large brush and I'm gonna kind of like add some of this just on top of there and it'll look a little bit like a light flare. Okay, there we go. Just with a brush tool and I'm gonna change my layer blend mode from normal down to lighten. Now you don't have to do that. This just kind of like blended everything together and it looks like another light flare. So let's go ahead and turn those layers off Here's our before and there's the after. You can see that was really incredibly easy to do. Now, if we really want to throw this for a loop, what we're going to do is add a little bit of color effects to the photograph. And that's going to give it that like, we're going to put some like nice cool cyans in the shadows and some warm colors in the highlights. And that's really going to tie this effect together. Okay, so you can color a lot of different ways in Photoshop. The way we're going to do now is using a gradient map. So let's go to our layer. We're going to go down to new adjustment layer and I'm going to go to a gradient map. If you've never seen this before, gradient maps are super cool. Basically, you can choose a gradient here. You can choose your dark colors and your light colors. So we'll say our dark colors, we want them to be like this dark cyan. There we go. And our light color, let's click here. And we're just gonna choose, this is gonna be like a nice bright, like yellowish orange there. There we go. And that looks pretty good there. So we can see it's basically coloring the image. And now this is set to a normal blending mode, but you can simply lower your opacity if you want. You can change your blending mode to this as well. So let's try, we're gonna go down to soft light. There we go. And that's, you can see, it's just gonna give it that like really nice cool color effect. And it's going to, we can increase or decrease our opacity. It's gonna both color the image and add some light effects at the same time. Now, another way you can use to color is go to layer and down a new adjustment layer and over here to a color balance adjustment layer. Hit okay. And here I'm gonna pull my midtones towards blue and towards cyan a little bit more. And we're gonna go to our highlights and I'm just gonna pull those towards yellow and towards red a little bit. Give me that orange type effect. All right, there we go. And we'll just lower the opacity of that a little bit. So here we have it guys, super easy to do. So here's our image before. Here's our lighting effects, and then here's a little bit of coloring on that as well. It's a little bit strong, so I'm gonna just lower these effects. All right, so you can see it's incredibly easy to do this awesome bokeh effect. Now, this is only one image. We got another image for you, and for this, we're gonna change the colors of the bokeh. All right, so we can see this is our image that we just made. Now here, we've got another photo. This is super cool because we got blue on one side and we got the magenta on the other side. And we're gonna use this exact same bokeh image and we're actually going to be changing the color. Super easy, very fun. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit my move tool here. Let's click and drag from one image to another. There we go. And here we can see we need to change this from normal down to screen. Okay, that's our blend mode here. Hit F for full screen, and I'm just gonna flip this upside down. So Control or Command T, right click and go flip vertical. That's just gonna flip that right upside down for me. Now in this case, I'm gonna make a couple copies of this because I want uh, I want this side of it to be bluish and that side of it to be magenta. It's gonna be really cool. So the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna turn this into a smart object. There we go. So now as a smart object, I can use smart filters. So let's go to image. I'm gonna go down to adjustments and we're gonna to go to hue saturation. There we go. And check this out. I'm adjusting the hue of this layer of just the bokeh, right? I'm adjusting the hue of the bokeh, which is really cool. I'm gonna focus on the left side first. I wanna match this like blue in the background and let's hit okay. Now check this out. Because I used, I turned this into a smart object first, I, basically was able to use a smart filter. So I can turn this hue saturation on or off at any time and I can change it and it only affects this layer. So really, really cool. Now let's go ahead and pop a layer mask on there and I'm gonna paint black on my layer mask. Again, we want it to completely disappear from this side, right? There we go and we can kind of define where it's visible. That's pretty cool. Now let's click and drag this to duplicate it. So we're gonna have it another copy of it and you know what, I'm gonna just, uh, click on our layer mask, we're gonna to go to edit, down to fill, and we're gonna fill our layer mask with white. It's gonna make it all visible. It looks really great, okay? 
Now, what we're going to do is layer mask out the other side. So I'm going to make the other side invisible. All right, and the reason we're doing this is because we got two different colors of bokeh here that we're going to be working with, okay? So we have our left side that we did blue. Now, our right side, we want it to be magenta to kind of match what's going on here. So again, let's just click on this same hue saturation. See, it just duplicated that with all the filters, which is so fun. Double click here on the hue saturation, and then you can just simply slide this to the right. Okay, so you can change the color super easy. Now, if you wanna completely color it, you can see this is coloring our bokeh because it um, has a lot of saturation, but we have this light area here that's not really being colored. If you wanna color everything, click on that colorize button, and then you can color everything. It's all gonna be the same, same color. Okay, there we go, let's find our right, yeah, there we go, that's looking pretty good, and you can even change your saturation and things like that. So let's hit okay there, and then I'm gonna just paint with my layer mask here. There we go, kind of paint this in. Oh man, that looks so cool. So here we have our magenta and our blue on different sides. So it's the same image, basically I've just changed the color. Now I'm gonna put some white bokeh right here in the middle. So let's just click and drag that. I'm gonna duplicate that once more. Okay, on my layer mask, we're just gonna fill that with white. There we go. And let's make this small and then this is gonna be like, she's got a little bit of bokeh in her hand. You're just holding on to your bokeh. Let's <laughs> double click on this hue saturation. Okay, and I'm just gonna simply lower my saturation because it's kind of white right there, right? And we'll click on our layer mask and I'm just gonna paint black on my layer mask right around here. So this is only gonna show up like right over top of her hand. And just have fun with this. You know, this is, these bokeh effects, these are, these are for fun. Adding all these fun effects to your photos. This is, you know, play around with it. You can even do your own photography. You don't have to use stock images. All right, there we go. So we got three different bokeh effects. You can see here's our first one is for the blue on that side. Our second one is that magenta and we colorized this one. And then our third is just that little bit right over there. We got our stunning bokeh effects. Here at the end, I'm just gonna throw another color balance. That's just gonna add some fun color to it. We'll just pop some blue and cyan into the midtones and the highlight, let's push those towards yellow and a little bit towards red. And here we go. We got everything colored together and we really got our fun bokeh effect photo. Okay guys, you can see that's all there is to creating these stunning bokeh effects in Photoshop. Now you can download these images on flurn.com. Just follow the link on your screen right now. You can do all your practicing and you can pick up great places to pick up that 85 millimeter 1.4 or the 50 millimeter 1.4 lens that are going to allow you to actually photograph this awesome bokeh effect. Have fun with your bokeh. Until next time, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone. Cool. You want to create some bokeh together? <laughs>